Hello there Aries and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today will be a separation reading here. We're going to find out how your ex is doing, uh, your recent ex. We ain't talking about exes on down, years on down now that you was not emotionally and spiritually and energetically connected to. Uh, this will be pertaining to recent uh, breakups and separation. We're pulling the energy to see how your person is feeling. What do they think about you? What do they think about the connection since you guys have separated here? So this is a general reading, Aries, so it may or may not resonate with you. So if you would like a personal reading, uh, you might want to take a chance or get in on this $20, $20 for 20-minute 20 uh, personal tarot reading here. Uh, it's only for a limited time here. Uh, also, I'm still offering... Um, in conjunction with the Copper Connect uh, crystal jewelry. They are absolutely beautiful. Uh, so if you're interested in crystal jewelry, uh, you can also check that out in the description box below. So this is going to be a quick one, hopefully, Aries. We're just trying to find out what your little ex is feeling about you since you guys have separated here. I'm using the Psychic for the Hard Tarot deck and, of course, the Light Seekers deck. And we're just going to get right on into, you know how we do, Aries, the top and the bottom, and six over here, okay? So your person's first card coming out, we have the number 13 card. It says release. Release. Your person needs to release something here, Aries. Since you guys have broken up, your person is having a hard time releasing something here. What is your person having a hard time releasing, Aries? Hmm, let's see. This is the number 13 card, which is the number 4. And at the bottom, we have number 2. Coming together. Oh, okay. So this is what your person is having a hard time releasing. Your person is a hard, having a hard time releasing you, Aries, because they want to come back together with you. They want to come back together. They want to, they want this love to flow. Um, they just want to connect back with you here. So I feel like this is how your person is feeling. They're, they're trying to release, um, they're needing, they're trying to release because I feel like it's a halt on your person if you guys are separated. Uh, so I'm under the impression that maybe you don't want this person, but they want you. So they're trying to release this energy off of them because they stuck on you. They, they, they're trying to release it, but I feel like they're having a hard time. So let's pull your cards here. We have strength. Yeah, your person needs strength. All right, Aries. We have <laughs> Ace of Cups. We have Four of Cups. These, these cards from the Light Seekers are so beautiful. We have the Knight of Swords here. We have the Emperor. We. And we have the Four of Swords here. So you do have two fours on the board here. And we have at the bottom, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Y'all gonna hear my grandson in the background. He got so many toys in there, I tell you. That little boy got so many toys in there. It's like a child in a candy store or a child in a candy store. He, he can't contain himself, so. <laughs> so, Aries, your person, I feel like your person's having a hard time releasing this connection here because they ultimately your person wants you guys to come back together here in this commitment here or the... The commitment that you had, your person wants it back here. So your first card is the strength card. That's Leo's energy here. The strength is right next to the release card. Your person is is uh, weak. <laughs> your person emotions is weak and very vulnerable at this time, I feel like. Because really what I feel like is your person is emotionally unstable. Because underneath the strength card, we have the Knight of Swords here. This is air energy. This is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius' energy here, and this Knight of Swords energy here. Let's see, can I get the lighting a little bit better for you, Aries? Sorry about that. Okay, the Knight of Swords. So, crowning this Knight of Swords is the strength card. So, this is why I feel like your person's emotions is all out of whack here. Because they're all in their emotions about you guys coming together here. I feel like this person is angry with you. <laughs> This person is disappointed in you uh, because I feel like you ended this connection with this person here. So, uh, but like I said, I feel like this person does want to rush in. This person may want to rush in and 
because uh, this person ultimately is having a problem releasing you. They want to come back together. So I feel like this person's in their feelings. Their emotions is all over the place. Now they want to. Now they want to come back at you. Excuse me, Aries. Now this person wants to come back. Um, let me put this on uh, vibrate. <laughs> I don't know why people call. Well, of course I know why they call me because I'm Scorpio. That's why. They call me. So yeah. Oof. Okay, so, so like I say, your person actually wants to confront you in this Knight of Swords energy. And either this person, I guess this person is trying to reframe themselves from coming at you and demanding answers here. Because you see, Crown of the Knight of Swords, we do have the Strength card here. But ultimately, this person wants you guys back together. You saw the number two card coming together. Because your person wants this Ace of Cups with you, Aries. Your person wants to start over with you. That's, that's just what it is. Your person, uh, this is Scorpio Cancer and Pisces energy, this Ace of Cups energy. Uh, your person wants to have a new beginning with you, love overflowing. So if your person wasn't showing you love in the past, your person is ready to overlove you now. You hear me? And underneath this Ace of Cups, we have the Emperor here. Now, your person may have been very weak in this connection and really not... Uh, the man that they should have been or the, the person, the female, because we, we're not pulling gender, it's the energy. So I feel like your person wants to be in control. Your person wants to take charge of this situation here uh, in order to bring about this new beginning with you here. Uh, so, but I feel like ultimately your person, <laughs> your person needs strength because next to this Ace of Cups, we have the Four of Cups. This is your person feeling like they've missed an opportunity or that you're going to reject their offer. But I feel like your person feel like they've missed an opportunity with you in this Four of Cups because this Four of Cups is right next to this Ace of Cups here. So your person is feeling like, damn, I want to offer, a, I want to come back and start over with Aries and offer Aries this cup. But I think ultimately I have missed this opportunity with Aries. I don't think Aries want this cup of love now. So underneath this Four of Cups, you have the Four of of swords here this is you aries taking a break from this connection here because what's crowning this four swords is the four of cups like i say you have two fours so your person is understanding that you guys that they have missed this opportunity with you but your person is having a very hard time letting go of this connection here at the bottom of the deck here we have the eight of pentacles here this is your person wanting to work on this connection here your person is really working hard uh ultimately because they're trying to repair this three of swords here. So this person must have put you in a third party situation here. And ultimately, I feel like you ended it and you took a break to recuperate and to get your energy back. And then the page of pentacles. So this is your person wanting to come back here. Uh, they're still, and after this page of pentacles, we have the page of swords. So we got two pages here. Your person here. So your person really hasn't grown that much. I know your person really hasn't grown that much because they have the Knight of Swords. They're trying to come at you in this Knight of Swords. They want to be the Emperor, but I feel like it's not time. They, they need to put in some footwork here. So I, all they can do is, is plot to try to come back and offer you something just to get back in your good grace in this Page of Pentacles. And so until you talk to them, all this person going to do is just watch your area. They're just going to stalk you. That's all. They're just going to watch you. That's all. They're just going to watch you. Because they know that you moved away towards a calmer place and you're not thinking about them. And the reason why you're not thinking about them, Aries, is because this person was doing some very sneaky things, getting away with things. I feel like this person put you in a third-party situation. Ultimately, you ended it with this person. So, Aries, this is what your person, is, your ex, is feeling about you since you guys have separated here, Aries. So, if this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.